If you're looking for motivation to get yourself and your home ready for fall, stick around with me. I'm cleaning, decluttering, organizing. I'm even testing out new cleaning equipment to help you get ready for fall as I get ready for fall. If you're new here, my name is Karen and I'm so happy you've joined me. That's my dryer you're hearing in the background. I got this afresh and it's to clean out your washing machine, which I actually have never done. But since I have a new washer, I thought it'd be good to just do this every time I clean for each season because I do a fall clean, a holiday slash winter clean, a spring clean, and a summer clean. So it even has this handy dandy chart here where you can write down or check off each month that you do it. So all I'm gonna do is take this tab, throw it in my washing machine, and I'm gonna set it up to normal because I don't have a clean cycle. Because it mentions if you have a clean washer cycle to go ahead and pick that, but I don't. My wash cycle is done, and what I find interesting is I kind of like was peeking in to look because it said to wipe out any residue once it's done and I didn't smell anything before I did this but now I do smell mildew which is weird so it must have like been drying it out I don't know so what I'm gonna do is take I have a cleaning bottle that has vinegar and water in it and I'm gonna just spray it down and wipe it down with a microfiber cloth I got this cleaning bottle from Pro of Collaborative, but I have to tell you the truth. It's a glass bottle and then it has rubber on the bottom. And it's because, you know, they don't want to use plastic, but the sprayer here, I bought two of these. One had a good sprayer and one had an awful sprayer. So I'm sure you could buy a new sprayer for it if the sprayer wasn't good, but Honestly, don't know if I would recommend it because I'm not a big fan of having glass that can get broken because then someone could get injured. This was that ridge at the top. There's like a couple little chunks left. Okay, talk to me in the comments. Do you clean your washing machine periodically? And if so, what do you use? The first thing on my fall list to do today is definitely this pantry. It's the perfect time to do it because I actually need to go grocery shopping so I feel like I can get it cleaned out, get it organized, and then figure out what things I need to put on my list. I have all my empty containers and then I need to do something with this popcorn that I haven't quite figured out yet. I have things that are supposed to be in containers that aren't so I'm going to start there. As you might know if you've been around here very long, I don't yank everything out of the pantry or any project. I always try to stick to one shelf or one section at a time. So this time what I'm going to do is clean up some of these things that are out loose so that I can then see what I'm dealing with for mess and what was just stuff that wasn't put away. As I use containers that need to be cleaned, I'll just wash those up real quick and just as I go. This guy was completely in another room minding his own business until I pulled out my camera. <laughs> Perfect example. These just need to be in there. And then we started keeping our cookbook here, um, which I'm fine with, as long as things like this don't get hidden under it and then move it. This is a very old cookie that's going in the trash. I'm 
I like to check boxes and see if any of them need to be cleaned out. But this is why I like to keep things like maple syrup that doesn't need to be refrigerated in here is that way if it's messy it gets on the box that's easy to clean instead of dripping down and ending up on other foods and on the floor. These two I know are old. This I had bought gluten free, no one liked, and this is leftover chips from a restaurant. So we're gonna get rid of those. <laughs> With a job like this, I like to use the power wash because I can just kind of spray it in. It's very easy. Interesting, because he's not usually my troublemaker. Who's he? What are you doing? It's mine. That's what he's saying. Hi. So I have my sauces, I have my broth, then I'm putting packaged baking mixes here. That one's already filling. And then taco shells, my cookbook, peanut butters, and fluff go over here. So that's where we are with that. And now I'm gonna put the bigger stuff up here. I'm gonna start working over here and I have bread and shoe boxes, which I actually love doing. It fits a loaf of bread. Here are all of our pastas, which do need some help. I have a box that has spaghetti, but then I notice this one was open. So to prevent tragedy, what I always do, and all I can find right now is duct tape, is I will tape the end of the box so that they don't all spill out when someone takes them out upside down. I've done that so many times, I can't even count. So it's much easier, and then hopefully that will be the hint that we need to use this one before we use this one. I'm going to see if there's room in here. Oh yeah, I think I could actually combine these two. So I'm going to try that. Although this is angel hair. Yeah, I guess I won't. Alright, so. I don't have another container for it. 
but at least now I know it's not gonna fall out. I just noticed that this is dirty, so I'm gonna get out some cleaner and get that clean real quick. I decided to use this white erase, because I knew no matter what was there, it would come off. Sometimes it will leave a little residue or muck behind, so it never hurts to kind of go over it with a cleaner afterwards, or even just a paper towel or microfiber. These I have quite a bit of, so I'm gonna improvise and put them in a cereal keeper. I find that the way I organize my pantry changes according to what I have to put in there. So instead of buying new containers all the time, I just change how I use my containers depending on what we have in the house. Just when you think it's safe, you notice more pasta. This area where I keep bread, I want to change because I can't stack it now. Dash chocolate much? That's funny. I think what I want to do is I want to put these down here and bring this up here. Got a little distracted. I should have been doing some work here with rice. So let's go to the rice. I miss that this has actual seasoning in it. It's not just rice. So I'm going to put it in the glad lock and guess what we're having for dinner tonight. Next up, I want to check out our nuts and seeds and see if any of those are expired. Expired. Here's where I am, looking good. Now I'm gonna work on this shelf here. I'm gonna work on, <laughs> could you not die while I am doing my video, please? <laughs> I think I'm gonna put the matcha powder over here as well. And now I'll work on this little area. I'm gonna bring some of the lighter things over here. With that done, I'm gonna get working on snack foods. We always have a lot of salty and rich crackers, so I'm gonna put them in a cereal keeper.
my organization method is 100% what do I have in the house, what do I have for containers, and how will it best fit. We don't buy the same things every single week, and so it's always changing. Now we just have this left. So now the next day I had my lunch and then I had to take my daughter shopping and so we're gonna get right back to it. I only have a little bit to finish fortunately. I keep my onions with goggles <laughs> and I need to clean this out. This we use occasionally. Spare plastic bags in here. All better. And all better. Let's work on this hot mess. These could be used. I'm gonna take out trash. This, this is a great little colander for canned goods. I think I'm gonna put it with the canned goods. That makes sense. Then we'll remember to use it. Trash. Bird nectar. This goes with baked goods. Let's bring this one here. Wow, I just want to stare at this all day. Oh my goodness. And then the door. The fridge is still looking great. Still loving the freezer. Feels so good to have these ready. If you missed that video, I'll link it below. A company named Pretty Care sent me this vacuum free to try out and let you know what I think and I'm really hoping that I love it because it's a very inexpensive vacuum. It is a cordless and if they are giving me a $30 off coupon for all of you that I will link in my description box below. So let's try it out now. There's your little on button and then it has kind of a high and low speed so that you can adjust the suction. It also has these little attachments, but right now I'm going to try it on my furniture and see how it does. Take it apart and then put the big head here. Oh yeah, there we go. When I was doing the back of the couch, it was easier to do if I kind of held these wheels to keep it steady. I do have some dirt in here. You can see that, a little blurry. So I wanna see how it does 
when I use this attachment. I did great, it's all gone. So I noticed that any dirt I can see, it definitely picks up. So here's what I picked up from the carpet and that one spot on the couch. And I do vacuum daily, I'll say that. And it definitely picked up any dirt that I could see. So now I'm gonna go into my kitchen and try it on a bare floor. This is the perfect area for me to test it out. Plus this floor does need to be washed, but obviously that's gonna wait. But I wanna see how it does with all of these like cat food chunks and that kind of thing. I'm going to use the lower section since it is a bare floor. did have a little bit of fallout, these few pebbles that come from my driveway and from people's shoes, but I have to tell you that I have that happen with my very expensive vacuum as well. Overall, I have to say I'm very impressed. I definitely think for the price point, that is a very good vacuum. I'm in my youngest son's bedroom right now. He just turned 18. He's moving into his dorm today for college. My husband drove him down to North Carolina this weekend and this is his bedroom. He had actually just moved in here. He likes it because it has this real I'm at camp feel and he loves the double glass slider doors. While he's at college, we're probably gonna use this room. It might end up being a place where someone does their schoolwork and then whenever he comes home, we'll make sure any of our things are out of his way. So what I wanna to do today is just condense what he has without being intrusive, without getting into his stuff. And then I might dust and vacuum. He also has his bed here by a glass slider. And I was just kind of pulling this back to look and I moved it out a little bit. I'm gonna move this out a little just so I can get behind there whenever I want to clean these glass sliders. Then he was going through like graduation cards and different things to decide what to take with him. So I'm just gonna clear off the desk so someone could do schoolwork here. You know, it's just little odds and ends from him moving. He's actually super clean, always keeps his room clean. So this will be pretty easy. Hopefully that will help our lighting issue a little bit. What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope. chair's kind of broken. He had hyperextended back, so I'm going to put it in. Fill my head with roses. I can't help but dream away. Standing on a field with you and flowers everywhere. Maybe there is a star with your name. One thing I know is that no one who has a heart 
we do still use this door as an exit and our grill is on the deck so I decided to put this down to keep the rug from getting dirty as people are coming in so there we go his room wasn't dirty to begin with but now everything personal has been tucked away so if we do use this as a study room his things that he wouldn't want to share are out of the way.